the first thing to notice is that all the horses are facing the right way, so we don't have any crazy double-headed horses possible anymore. If I attempt to click on a tile to rotate it, nothing happens. When we solve this puzzle in hard mode, we started by defining a rotation that the puzzle should be in, and then trying to fit the horse tiles into that rotation. If no solutions could be found, we chose a different rotation. Here, unless the game designers were incredibly cruel for easy mode players, which isn't entirely unheard of, this simple rotation of all horses facing up and right probably works. We can therefore ignore the rotation tactics from before and focus on the tile placement ones. Once again, we see three blue backs and six blue heads for the upwards facing. So we already know that without rotations, three blue heads must be on the bottom row. Sorry, blue just explodes at me more than the other colors. This means that we have two blue horses facing upwards that must be in one of three potential positions. All on the right, all on the left, or potentially one on the left and one on the right. Except that's not entirely true. This blue head facing right has no blue back anywhere that can connect with it. So it must be on the left, forcing the two upwards facing blue horses to be both on the right. We will keep these restrictions in mind as we attempt to brute force the salt the yellow and red horses. Effectively, I am concentrating on one color to apply a restriction to and just forcibly trying to make it work with the other two colors. It is at this point that I'm pretty much trying to fit red and yellow horses together, being mindful of the restrictions posed by the blue horses. Remember, one can still work out restrictions for other colors to keep in mind. For instance, the tile with a red horse back going upward. Currently, in the top right, there isn't a red head going upwards, so this tile must be somewhere in the top row. One could also see that there are three red heads facing right and four red backs. The one with a red head and red back currently in the lower right has a blue head on the bottom. Since no other right facing red head has a blue horse head at the bottom, we can deduce that this piece currently in the lower right must always be in the lower right. You can go pretty far at building restrictions to narrow down how things must be. Personally, as you can see from my current playstyle, I chose to brute force once I nailed down just enough restrictions. Once again, no rotation for us. Remember the goal. Like icons must be next to each other between tiles. The easy mode version, removing rotation, sort of ruins the hard mode solution I made. If you recall, I jotted down that there were six different types of tiles on the order the icons appeared in, four of which occurred twice. I used a pattern of assigning letters, working the way up the board, and if I reached a point where I could complete it, where four types appear twice and two appear once, I would try to assign icons to those letters and see if I could translate that abstract solution into a concrete one. This doesn't really work here. Without rotation, a tile that goes sun web eclipse. Oh, I called it a bagel or donut originally, but that was before I got to be in line of the totality on August 24th of this year. Sweet! Anyway, sun, web, eclipse, moon, and moon, sun, web, eclipse are no longer the same tile just rotated. Without the ability to rotate, they are completely different tiles. So, 
I abandoned my solution from hard mode in favor of a brute force technique which I am rapidly finding easy mode is designed for. For instance, I start by looking at which group of four in the center on the left I want, in this case, sun. I then work my way to the right, adding the only tiles that match the grouping until I reach a dead end. Without rotations, we have much less state space to work through, so this is a completely viable solution. I reach a dead end. Oh well. So I can change the grouping on the left to another icon, or I can replace one of the suns with another tile with the sun on the correct side and try to rebuild it. There's much fewer tiles to choose from because not any tile with a sun could be a potential candidate, which in hard mode would be pretty much every tile. Point is, I am working my way left to right in the puzzle itself, instead of on paper using an abstract representation. The limited move set makes it easier to just let the puzzle work for you, as long as one remembers vaguely at least what tiles they've already tried, it won't take long to hit a solution. In my case, I fired this up after about a month of not touching it at all and ran through all this in about 5 minutes. memory of Bandam is impossible to lose. Without trying, you will accidentally solve this eventually, as it is impossible to progress away from the goal in easy mode, only towards it. Take a look here. I am flipping the pieces and we see, first of all, the total image will be different. We also see this piece isn't going back down. In this mode, pieces that have been moved, or if the puzzle just started merely revealed, in the right place will stick. Not only can you start to see the entire image better as you get nearer the solution, but you can just keep moving pieces around until one of them stick. Without much effort, I already have three pieces in, and it is quite clear the image alone, even without the rule change, is much easier than hard mode. This is a stampede of horses. And the contours of these lines are much easier than in the other puzzle. Look here, every piece that is at the top has this horizontal stripe at the top. And this piece here, which has a horizontal stripe at the bottom, probably is somewhere at the bottom. In addition to easier contours that just naturally come from having a stampede of horses as your image, and in addition to the fact that these pieces stay upwards the moment we get them in the right place, we also have these little bars telling us whether a piece is at the top or it's at the bottom, and if it doesn't have it, it's somewhere in the middle. As I said, it is very difficult to lose this puzzle. If you just keep at it, you're eventually going to get it. There's not really much strategy to go on from here. So, I'll stop talking. <laughs>